So here we go. Today's job, sort the brakes out on my Morris Minor 1000. Uh, had this car a long time. The brakes have always been terrible, uh, despite me rebuilding them before. So the first job, take the drums off. And in doing this, I noticed that they didn't feel massively flat. Uh, there seems to be a bit of scoring in there. So as they are cheap and readily available, uh, I did think about buying some, then I thought, well, hang on a minute, let's put them on the lathe and see if we can take a few thou off and uh, flatten them out. So cast iron, machined it very slowly. The dark patch you can see there is a low point, so I've gone all the way across, nice low feed rate, and that's been left low. So, uh, yeah, they weren't flat. I did actually put a straight edge across and shine some light through. So machine a few thou off and then checked with the dial indicator, checked that they were uh, running concentric and then going across to uh, see how flat we got it. Now, I wasn't expecting it to be perfect, A, because they're very old, and B, well, they probably weren't perfect in the first place, to be honest, but pretty pleased with that. So uh, these are the old cylinders, which I changed, uh, put these on about eight years ago. They would not shift, so the brakes would actually work, uh, but the problem was they weren't coming off, and the drum was getting quite hot, and the hub. Uh, now, brake fluid absorbs water over time and they corroded on the inside, so they're no good. So I took them off and replaced them. Uh, don't mess about with brakes. If in doubt, change the parts. So that's what I did. Uh, now, I got to have a perfectly good workshop, but uh, decided to do it outside in the dark. So there the new cylinders are on there, new pads. And the hub's now spinning nicely before I had to really put a lot of effort in to get the drums off. Uh, because they're that tight. So here we are taking off the back wheel uh, in traditional fashion on uh, axle stands and using a hand brace. Uh, I do use a hand brace, so I don't like to over tighten the wheel nuts and stretch the studs. So uh, as you can see here, I'm using a copper hammer because uh, they're not coming off very easily, these drums. But that just frees off the shoes and then we can get the drum off. Uh, there we go. So you can see the inside doesn't look very good there it is after i've machined it much better so with a much flatter surface we should get better contact on the pads and therefore better friction better braking force uh, one of the uh, flexi hoses i ordered snapped i didn't put that much force on it to tie it on but it just snapped probably not very good quality steel so i uh, got the forklift in and went to my uh, heavenly parts store to see what i got i usually have uh, some bits and bobs about. This is where all the treasures get found when I'm making my machines, hydraulic rams, all sorts of things, and uh, where I keep the parts for quite a few of my classic cars. So as you can see, nice warm, cozy workshop, but uh, no, let's work outside in the rain. And uh, he's not helping. Stop making it rain. So now time to start bleeding the brakes. That's the master cylinder there in the floor. Uh, so here we have an easy bleed, self bleed thing. So you don't need someone to help you, except it's a lot easier when you do. So it's a hose that goes on the bleed nipple with a non-return valve, which you submerge in brake fluid. Then you crack open the bleed nipple, go and press the brake pedal a few times, and that pushes the oil through, the old oil through, and then the air bubbles into the container. Uh, and then you lock it off and do it again. Uh, so I did that quite a few times. I actually do it slightly differently. I actually pump a bit of pressure in uh, and then go and release it. It seems to work a bit better. So uh, then decided to put the wheels back on, adjusted up the, the uh, shoes so that they were spinning but close, uh, dropped it back down on the floor, put the hubcaps on, did a little dance and uh, ready to give it a test. Now I know it's wet, but that's pretty good skid.